I think it's not the time to travel, it's the time to help. The devastation is huge, the drama is immense. After days of heavy rain and deadly flooding in parts of Spain in late October, other regions of the country were hit again on Monday, November 4th, including Barcelona. Here now to discuss the details of this situation is Mar Gomez, the meteorology manager of our sister station in Spain, El Tiempo. Uh, Mar, thank you so much for joining me today. First question that I have is, uh, what sort of recent weather patterns led to uh, such incredible amounts of rainfall in recent days across the country? Yes, the situation that we have had uh, was a depression, a low pressure system isolated at high levels of the upper atmosphere. In Spanish, it's called Dana. In English, I think it's Cuda Flow. This Dana has been located over our country, producing heavy rains due to several factors. Firstly, it has been very static for many days, bringing us humidity directly from the Mediterranean with the steadily winds. Uh, the Mediterranean Sea is very warm now, more than normal. In fact, this summer we broke some records, and although it isn't so warm now, uh, the anomalies are between 1 and 2 degrees above normal. That is, it's quite enough. All these things combined with the orography of Valencia, for example, the more devastated area, and the uh, lack of urban planning of the territory there, have resulted in the catastrophe event that you have seen in all the news around the world. It's my understanding that some residents may have felt that the alerts were issued a little bit too late. What was your sense of that situation? Uh, the situation was that our meteorological agency of our the country uh, sent an advice advisory the previous week but uh, the red warming was uh, set during the morning of uh, Tuesday, last Tuesday. It was around 7 or 8 a.m. during the morning, but they sent this warning, and after that, uh, civil protection uh, have to send the warning to all the mobile device, to all the people. But this warning is not a warning, not the weather warning. Uh, I am meaning uh, civil protection warning arrived very, very late at uh, 8 p.m. during the evening when all the streets are completely uh, flowed and all the people are in the streets uh, facing with this uh, extreme weather. How did the, the terrain, the geography of Valencia uh, sort of play a role in the amount of flooding that was seen? Yeah, of course, it, it has clear influenced because in Valencia, uh, there are many areas that are built on flood zones. It's a problem that we have in our all Mediterranean region. The urban planning of the territory has not been uh, done well. And there are many homes in all river beds or close to them that overflow. So it's a key factor, but also the torrential intensity of more than 600 millimeters of rain that has fallen in some areas in a few hours. So both factors combined, it's um, complicated and we have the situation that currently we are seeing in images. For people who maybe have plans to, ha to head to Spain uh, in the next days or weeks, uh, any uh, advice for those people? depends on the area. If they are going to travel to Valencia right now in, in these affected areas, I think it's not the time to travel, it's the time to help. The devastation is huge, the drama is immense. If someone is going to travel to this area, uh, do it also with help because they need it.